So I'm going to keep my promise here and actually post a new review. So today I'm going to review Disney's limited edition Jasmine doll from the movie Aladdin. So what I'm showing you now is just the doll in the package that it came in with the dust cover on. That's why there is a lot of glare. And these are just the sides of the boxes. The box itself is actually really pretty, which is why I chose to keep my doll in the box and to protect it from dust as well. Uh, there's intri intricate designs all around the sides of the boxes that match the designs that are on her outfit, which we will get to later. We'll read the back of the box for you guys. Disney Store is proud to present the limited edition Jasmine doll, inspired by the beauty of Princess Jasmine from Disney's animated classic, Aladdin. The beautifully designed doll captured Princess Jasmine's exotic elegance in every exquisite detail. Her flowing teal overskirt features an intricately printed metallic gold pattern. Jasmine's dainty bodice is richly embellished with a metallic embroidered peacock motif and gems that sparkle like the stars in an Arabian sky. She's adorned with a sculpted belt, bracelets, and a metallic gold necklace set with glimmering teal gems. Set in her signature style, Jasmine's long hair falls in luxurious waves bound with metallic gold beads. This gorgeous doll captures Jasmine's fluid grace and striking beauty and is a treasured addition to any collection. And in case anybody was wondering, I paid uh, about $120 for this doll. That seems to be the typical price range for these kind of collectible 17 inch Disney Store limited edition dolls. So now I am just taking the doll out of the dust covering. There's the top piece which is cardboard, it's the same material as the backing of the box, and that piece slides off fairly easily. Um, the second piece is plastic, kind of like any other doll box, but it's decorated very nicely. It's rather hard to get off one-handedly, so I apologize for the shaky camera movement. So now that the cover is off, we can see her beauty a lot easier, and again, the camera sucks, I understand. So it's casting weird shadows on the face of the doll. Um, the color is slightly more red undertones in real life than the orange that the camera is picking up. So I apologize for that. Her makeup is really beautiful. It is the same gold and teal pattern that the rest of her outfit and the box are. And she's got fake eyelashes that actually come out. They are not just painted. And her face, like most 17 inch Disney collector dolls that I've seen and that I have, have this shimmer to them. It's like molded into the plastic. I don't know exactly what it is, but it gives the dolls a sort of dewy look, mostly on their face since the body is a hard plastic. Her eyes are a beautiful caramel light brown color, and her earrings, just like the back of the box said, have teal gems in them and are molded gold plastic. The same goes for her necklace. She also has her signature headpiece with the giant blue gem in the middle and the rest of the gems around that are teal to match the rest of the outfit and her hair is done the same way it is in the movie. So onto her clothes, um, her top is very similar to the style of top that she wore in the film. Instead it's a darker teal instead of that light blue and it has gold edges on it and the gold is almost like a satin feeling material. Uh, the top is embroidered by beautiful gold threads, and it has little teal gems glued on it, I believe. Um, her bracelets and bangles are all one big molded piece of gold plastic with teal gems in it, and the same goes for the top piece on her skirt. Uh, her belly button is pierced, or gives the illusion of it being pierced, with a teal gem glued in the center. She is wearing harem pants in that teal color with a skirt that wraps around and is lined with gold trim and has little gold stars embroidered down the side. The embroidery on this doll is amazing and is what makes it worth the price. There, at least on my doll, 
There is no defects or strings falling out. It is all perfectly done and it is so intricate that it's amazing to think that a machine did this. On her feet, Jasmine wears her standard shoes and they are uh, darker gold than they normally are portrayed. Uh, she is tied to her stand as you can see in the clip. Uh, the stand is clear and it has a metal rod up the back like most collectible Disney doll stands have. I have not taken her out so I don't know exactly how the stand attaches to her and how well it works, but if you were curious I'm sure somebody online has removed their doll from the box. Here's just a better view of Jasmine's hair. Uh, it is in the typical style that it was in the movie. Her hair goes all the way down to the her heel and the top of the stand in the box, so it is rather long. It has gold beading wrapped around it in the places where the hair is tied. Finally, I am showing you guys the certificate of authenticity. One, to prove that it, this is a real Disney doll, and two, because when I first got the doll, I was so excited to see that I got a relatively low number. 73 is the lowest limited edition doll that I ever had. I think before that the lowest was in like the 200s, so I got really lucky in finding this doll at this low of a number. So that is it for this review of the limited edition Jasmine doll from the Disney store. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any suggestions for other reviews or even just questions about this doll in particular, just leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching!